Have you ever wondered how much of a difference the optional parts for the energy weapons make in Ormut Core Lost Raven? Well, today we're going to find out. So the first test we're going to run with zero of the optional parts, just pure energy weapons. So for this first one, let's see how long it takes to use just one rock, rock four, to knock down the enemy. Just about seven and a half seconds. Then with dual pulse rifles, we'll be looking at about 4.6 seconds. So now we're going to fit the first optional part, which will reduce, um, which will increase the attack power. So 7.6 seconds and about 4 seconds is the time to beat. So let's start off with this one. Let's see if that extra attack power really makes a difference. Doesn't seem to be doing much though. Alright, about a third of a second saved. And now with dual weapons. Seems to be about the same, oddly enough. Now let's reduce the reload time. Now I'm going to fit the other one, which should speed up the shooting. So hopefully this one makes a big difference. So about 7 seconds flat and 4.7 seconds. So let's see. Doesn't seem to be doing much. Alright, there it is. Another half a second saved. Then with jewels, we need to save about 3 tenths, a third of a second. And then now we're going to see how much of a difference this makes when it comes to energy consumption. So here, boosting while shooting gives us about 3.8 seconds. Then we equip the one that reduces firing consumption. And let's see what's different. Not much of a difference really. So I don't know, it's a bit of a mixed bag. But yes, there's definitely a noticeable difference when you're the one controlling the AC. 